Skip it about ba 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 ba. All right, Star Trek fans, we are going to talk about reputation. Why is it so important? How to get more of it? What it gets us? How to spend our credits? And other ways to expediate the process. Um, as you can see, I've got a ship in warp. Got my little miners going. Anyway, uh, first and most obvious way to earn reputation with the factions, the factions being of course Federation, Klingon, and Romulan as you can see here 10 million uh, 10 million is what is called the faction lock point, that means once you break the 10 million barrier you can kill all the Federation ships you want and your reputation will not go lower uh, that means I can go into Fetty Space and farm interceptor blueprints maybe even some intrepid blueprints but that reputation will not get any lower Klingon, of course. Klingon are not my friends. Negative 2 million. That is the cap as far as negative goes. And if I'd have known what I know now, when I started this account, I probably would have gone Romulan and Feder Romulan and Klingon. Um, I'll explain why I would have done that instead here after a bit. And then, of course, Romulan. I am right on the cusp of locking in my Romulan reputation as well. And, of course, you've got Augment and Rogue reputation. But those are a separate issue. Today we're just going to be dealing with Fed, Klingon, Romulan. Now, the first and most obvious way to earn reputation is through dailies. The number one daily that resets every morning is the reputation event itself. Uh, this is a spend resources event. If you spend one parsteel, you get one point. One tripe, five points. One dilly, 25 points. And of course, when you spend your resources, you earn reputation. Now, just to be clear, you cannot grind triple faction. You just can't. It doesn't happen. You can do two reputations simultaneously. So every day, for example, tier one on both reputations, you would earn 5,400 rep divided by two. So when you get your complete this particular tier you gain 5400 rep but you lose 2700 rep so if you're doing two factions doing this every day of course you're going to gain 2700 rep with both of your chosen factions 5400 10,800 and 21 and a half thousand and you earn your credits hooray credits uh, other dailies that you can do and these are the dailies that reset every evening. You have, let's find them, Federation Champion, Federation Warrior, Romulan Champion, Romulan Warrior. And then of course you got Romulan and Federation Mining. If we go up here, look, Federation Champion, 25 milestone points for the daily, but it earns you 30,000 rep, another 75 credits, some speed ups, and some recruit tokens. Now, doing your dailies every day, and we'll do the math. So, for example, actually, we'll go with we will pretend my Federation and my Romulan rep are in the same bracket, so we'll start with Romulan champion. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Nope, that's not where I meant to go. Romulan champion! Back down here, folks. We are going to earn 60 credits. I'm break out our handy dandy calculator. So 60 credits plus. Let's see Romulan Warrior. 30. So plus 30. So that's 90 credits just for killing 25 ships. Then we're going to look at the mining one. That's 30. And another 60, so that's another 90. One eighty total just from doing those dailies. And of course, if we come over here to our reputation event, that is going to be 130 and 50. So another 180 credits there. 180. So that means at this particular bracket of reputation you can earn 360 credits per day by doing your rep. Uh, another way 
to earn rep is to come up here to your refinery, go to your Borg section, and if you're doing Vidar stuff every day, which I'm not doing it every day, should be, but who has time to do absolutely everything? Oops, backed out too far. So we're going to go back to our Borg section. You can refine inert nanoprobes into charged nanoprobes, 3,000. And then, of course, scroll over here, and we're going to stick with Romulan. That's 120. So 1,650 Romulan, or excuse me, nanoprobes for 120 Romulan credits. And of course, you can also go over here, and if you really, really want to, and we're just going to do it be for funsies, going to gain another 20,000 Romulan rep right there. Uh, so those are the ways to earn rep. Uh, those are also ways to earn credits. There are other ways to earn credits. Another example of earning credits. I've got the ship floating out here in Federation space, and we are going to look for something called a scout. No promises that we're going to find. Oh, never mind. We found one. Uh, Federation Scout, this is a kind of a rare target. They spawn, you kill them, and they have a chance to drop a chest. In that chest are something called messages. And of course, I'm killing a Federation Scout, so I'm hoping for Federation messages. And we will find out in about 20 seconds. Um, if you go to LCARS, you can actually search, see what systems Scouts spawn in. And you can actually rotate between those systems looking for Scouts. Oh, defeated the scout. Got a chest. Going to open it up. 49 Federation messages. The higher the level of the scout, the more messages you get. And if you're hunting Federation ships, an area I like to farm around in is Tilar, Deneb. You can bounce back in between systems. Let's take a look over in Tilar real quick, see if we can see a scout. Oh, and there's another scout. This is why I like hanging out here and farming. Alright, Power of Movie Maker, we're going to roll over here, go after this scout, and we're going to see what happens. Am I going to get more messages? Is it going to be fantastic? Uh, there are actually a number of zones in this area that you can bounce between, uh, usually just a couple minute flight time in between each, and by the time you get through floating between four zones, come back, there's usually sometimes a scout already respawned in the area that you were already in. It's also got this little star, and also... As you can see, the scouts are the fastest ships in the system, so it's easy to notice when they pop up. 28 messages. It kind of fluctuates. I've seen it as low as 4 messages, and I've seen it as high as 88 messages. Uh, but like I said, the higher the scout, the more messages you will earn. Now, we're going to hop back into our faction store. Now, <clears throat> at different tiers, you can buy these Federation recruit packs. You can also buy ships Mayflower X amount of credits Antares Saladin Intrepid and of course the Enterprise now when you first get tiered up enough to actually buy these faction packs they cost a hundred dollars a piece or not a hundred dollars but a hundred credits a piece I really don't recommend the hundred credits a piece if you're really antsy to get antsy to get started you can always start purchasing them when it's down to eighty uh, 20 credits doesn't seem like much, but when you factor in how often you actually earn credits, it's 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 a win-win. Uh, if you wait just a little bit longer, then of course the recruit packs drop down to 60. And then at faction lock, you get this handy little pack: 3,000 credits, or excuse me, 3,000 recruit packs for 300 credits. Uh, I did the math earlier with the Romulans for you guys and like I said I think we got up to 360 and so if you're up here for example on Federation buying three packs a day so you're spending 180 credits and banking 180 credits so it's a slow gain in order to gain credits uh, but there are events that come up from time to time that reward more credits uh, various little sales from here and there that reward more credits um, but in order to tear up your officers, especially your your faction, Klingon, Federation, and Romulan officers quicker, uh, get better ships, I do recommend spending your credits on a daily basis on these packs. These packs can only be bought once every 24 hours, so it's not like you can go nuts with them. Uh, the messages, and by the way, if you look up here, Klingon message, I can trade 180 Klingon messages for 350 credits. 
that is another way to double down on your credit gain. So, 360 credits for doing dailies, another 350 credits for farming a few messages. Uh, hop down to the Romulan one. And of course, the Romulans are going to be the ones that want the Federation messages. At the bracket right below, you only need 70 messages for 240 credits. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. And I am also going to buy my three packs. Like I said, I do recommend doing this. It's going to take you just a little bit longer to get your ships. I mean, I already have my Centurion, uh, and I'm already back up to 29k. So, it's not that much longer. I mean, I've got my Bacchus, my Centurion, and a Legionnaire, and I'm still already back up to 29,000 credits on this account. Uh, that is how you get credits. Uh, another way to farm reputation, and if you don't know this by now, shame on you, but you want to kill faction miners. So, da -da 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 -da, rewards. If I was to come over here and kill this level 39 faction miner, I would lose if I wasn't faction locked 5,000 reputation with the feds, but I would gain 1,300 Romulan reputation and 600 Klingon reputation. There are three magic zones in the game, one of them being Lakeside. If you're working on grinding up your Romulan rep, you're going to want to come here. The next magic zone is Aeta Pavonis. If you're working on grinding up your Klingon rep, you're going to want to come here. And because we all know things are imbalanced in the Romulan favor, if you come down to Tiger Core, and mind you, these are relatively tough zones. You're not going to be able to kill these hostiles without some decently tiered Pike Moro Chen action and at least a 1.5 million ship. But for example, in Tiger Core, and this is why I wish I had gone Klingon and Romulan first with this account, uh, the level 40 faction survey ships in this system reward anywhere between 8.5 to 10,000 reputation per kill. Lakeside, not so much. I believe it's around 4,000, 5,000. Same with Aida Pavonis seriously skewed in the Federation favor, but we all already knew this. Uh, but yeah, so, get your credits, get your rep, rep up. Definitely recommend dual faction. It's going to get you those speed ups, it's going to get you those extra goodies. Um, and then of course, if you are buying those recruit packs on a daily basis, let's look at the events real quick. I don't think there's an officer recruit event right now, but we're going to check. Nope, just a ship event. But whenever those officer recruit events do come up, wrong button, uh, you can go in and instead of burning your, say, ultra recruit packs or your premium packs, you can just go in and as you can tell, like I said, I do this every day, come in, pop your chests, and once you get your green, your uncommon officers maxed out, it's just straight officer EXP any rare or epic officers that you have maxed out and you don't have to actually tier them up and max them out you just have to earn the maximum amount of shards to actually have taken them to the max tier uh, you will start earning transporter patterns and of course you're still going to be working on your epic officers for a long long while they just do not wrap up fast same with the Romulan oh I'm uneven now Go over here Say 500. No, I'm still uneven. No. Sorry. OCD in me. I've got to even this out. But you get my meaning. And then with those transporter patterns, you can, of course, go over here and buy officer shards. 1,000 shards earns you one or excuse me, a thousand transporter patterns earns you one epic officer shard. So like yesterday, for example, we were doing armadas. I was like, oh man, I wish I had six to ten on this account. I went and I looked. I'm like, oh, I'm 15 shards away. I happen to have just enough shards to buy him, and now I have him. Also helps for tearing up officers. Con, you can speed up your tear up process on your con this way. Uh, your Carol Marcus, Pike, Alexander, Charbonnet, Kang, Nero, Gorkon, Kirk, and of course you've got 610, Cross, Khan, Gary, yeah. 
So all right, that's an overview on your rep, why it's important, how to get credits, how to earn rep, and uh, I hope you guys found this video informative. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you have any suggestions or any questions, let me know. Thanks. As always, have fun. Be safe.